Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm at the Bangchok BTS station overlooking Sukhumvit. That is Soy 62. Over on this side is Soy 99. So you can see 99 and 62. The further you get down the way, the less they're going to line up, even and odd. That off in the distance, you can barely make out the Punawiti BTS station. But we're going to go in the opposite direction. I'm not sure where. Maybe Soy 97. Take a look around the area. Looking off in this direction, the next station is on Newt, so we are not far out here at all. And that is an IDEO building, so we'll we'll go start over there, being that it's so close to Bank Shop BTS. And now if you want to go shopping, I know I used to live up in on Newt, the next train stop. An easy walk, but one train stop if uh, you insist on riding. Right off of Soy 50, you have the Lotus. And on the other side, on this side, you have down in the basement a Tops Market and a small movie theater up on the fifth or sixth floor. And right below the train, Soy 97 slash 1, and it says the Bangkok College of Technology is, I guess, right here. This is all closed up right now. It looks like a food court area with picnic tables and all. It doesn't look like there's a whole bunch down 97 slash 1. So I'm going to walk a little bit more, maybe way down the way. I see some six-story buildings, but it looks like a long walk down there. So I'm going to go over here towards that ideal building, which I don't know if that's the main Soy 97 or Soy 95. We'll check it out. Still very early, but there's a bunch of cool food, food stands and this little food court. I'm sure it'll come alive once it gets dark. Little tea shops, coffee places. Here's a five-star chicken. You'll find these all over town. We're still just below Bang Chok BTS. There's a Cafe Amazon flower shop. All kinds of little businesses. And on the other side of the road, on the Soy 62 side, a little quieter over there, I see a dental clinic. Uh, looks like a nice little Thai restaurant. Just across the street over there, I saw a KFC at the gas station and a subway. Made our way up to Soy 97. Let's take a look down the street. I think it's going to be a pretty... Yeah, well, we're, we're going to go take a look. I see some uh, six-story buildings anyhow. We'll, we'll stay within a block or two, or I keep saying city blocks, and I know that's uh, confusing to some people. We'll stay within 200 meters of the BTS. Looks like a small self-storage back here, the Cloud Room. There's the Cloud Room truck. It can't be that large. And kind of a fancy barbershop. Yeah, very fancy. 700 baht for a haircut. I just got my haircut for 180 baht. And he was over the moon when I give him 200. So this is uh, definitely, a, I don't know what you want to call it, a trendy barbershop. You sit in there and get your haircut for an hour and pay 700 baht. Yeah, I'm fine with a 10-minute haircut. Here's the chic hair design. And this looks like uh, woodwork. Here's a cool little store. You can get anything from soda to some bongos. And that's the BTS station. So I'm not sure what these buildings are down here on the right. They would be a nice easy walk to the train. Hostel in here, the Oyo All Day Hostel. 7-Eleven right next door. And what does that say? Agraba Cafe? Specialty coffees. And here's a building. It's in Thai. The 97 something. With the Casa Condo next door. All six story units. And the Serenade. Okay, Serenade looks really nice. Let me get on the other side of the street. Yeah, I like this Serenade. Smaller building, but... They look to be very yard, large units. And this is some kind of business off to the right. Cosmo. Looks like some kind of factory. The Casa Condo once again. Sugvit 97. Also, there's all kinds of condos down here. All six-story, but all very close to the train. That's Sukhumvit right there, and the train's right above. And here's some phone numbers for 
Casa Condo. You can check out that Facebook. And I'm not sure what the business is, if you'd like to tra translate that. And just all kinds of, uh, well, that's the Casa still. They might even have two towers. It looks like the same paint. But I just see one, uh, one building after another on the left side, anyhow. On the right side, it's all this factory. Yeah, it is all Casa Condo all the way down. So even though it's only six stories tall, it's, uh, it's huge. Check that out. Just one stop past on Newt. They don't appear to be huge units from... Uh, that's obviously one unit. That's the hallway and that's a second unit. But hey, they're not that tiny. So just past that, there's a little PP auto service. And I'm going to keep heading down the street here if this, uh, if this dog and I are on the same page. Yeah, he's cool. Now here's another building here, which is definitely more Thai style, but big, huge balconies. Yeah, and I don't know why I said it was Thai style. It's, it's a regular place, but I guess it's a hotel. The Romance Hotel. Check that out. I'm sure you could probably live in there if, uh, and consider it more a service type apartment. But yeah, personally, if I can sign a 12 month lease and save some bucks. And it looks like we're coming down to the end of it. Again, pretty small. We can definitely go off to the right and all, but there's so many choices just uh, closer to the train. And this is about as close as you can get. I'm going to go back up to Sukhumvit and go down the way towards that ideal. I'll check out this, this last building, but it definitely looks a little uh, no frills. Yeah, it's actually being gutted. I can, you can barely see the, all the drywall and all just being thrown out the windows. So that's that for Soy 97, but some pretty good choices, especially that one Casa building. Is it Casa Condo? That'd probably be my first choice. Feet from the train and far enough down the line here if uh, that's your consideration for a more affordable place and there goes the carry truck carry is the uh the ups of at least thailand my friend she's a supervisor over there and it's it's just all shipping packages you'll see carry on motorbikes and that's obviously a truck but you'll see them zipping all around town and instead of uh walking back where i just came from i am going to make this left right here at the uh, car shop there might not be anything in this next alley but I'm gonna go down and take a left and check it out here's the morning glory studio and cafe I don't read Thai but I can read 59 baht and 49 baht some good specials and we popped out on this street there's no sign but it's probably 95 slash one or something like that But at least I'm seeing something new, so I'm going to head back the, uh, whatever that is, 200 meters to Sukhumvit. I am walking by all kinds of cool little local places. Here's a uniform shop. All the kids are required to wear uniforms. You'll find these little uniform tailors all over town. Little coffee places. I just passed a uh, chicken, fried chicken stand. I think it was 10 baht a piece, I think. Huh. That's that ideal building right on Sukhumvit. Okay, there you go. 60 baht for a haircut there. That beats my 200 baht, but way better than the guy around the corner. Uh, who will trim up your fancy lumberjack beard for whatever that was, 700 baht. And I guess that correct, that was Sukhumvit 95 slash one. And we're heading back towards 95. Plenty of choices of uh, fruit and vegetables along the way you got to pick your spots especially on fruit i go into that via market a lot and uh i was i wanted some oranges and they had two oranges for 160 baht which is crazy this guy's selling oranges for 60 baht i guess it's a kilogram so i've made my way over to soy 95 and it looks to be the same as 95 and a half just a lot of local businesses and four-story walk-ups 
So we're going to duck back over and head towards Soy 93. And this is Soy 93 in the Ideal Building with a Starbucks and 7-Eleven right at the base. You're 50 feet to walk up <laughs> to walk up the uh, BTS Bang Chok Station just right there. Getting a little of that uh, whatever it is, 4.30 p.m. traffic. So check that out, the IDO. A lot of units, and I'm going by memory, but I think, I think, if we take a right here on 93, we're gonna run into the Jim Thompson factory outlet. Jim Thompson, the silk store, former OSS officer who uh, kinda revitalized the Thai silk industry back in the, I'm gonna guess the 50s, but I'm not positive. He'll have his beautiful scarf stores in all the malls. And down the way, I think it's at the largest building you see down there. I think that's his outlet, but we'll go take a peek. In the meantime, it's a bunch of uh, four-story walk-ups. There's 7-Eleven on the corner, which is 50 feet from that other 7-Eleven. Thai sausage. I'm trying to stay out of traffic here. These are the little condo buses dropping everybody off. To head over to the BTS. Well, they're paying, so I guess that's uh, a little tiny bus service. I don't know. I see these uh, different buses, people piling in, and I'm sure this goes off into the neighborhood. Other than the uh, the BTS here, there's no MRT coming the other way. There goes the train. So from this area, if you live back miles. You're gonna have to get on a city bus or during rush hour. I guess they, they pack these full, I'm sure for 10 baht, and zip you back to another central location back there. This is all I guess. Normally when I see these buses, they're full of construction workers, but these are obviously everybody, kids, students. So this is definitely, look at all these little mini buses to take people off different directions. It is rush hour. There's the IDO. There's Sokovet, whatever that is, 200 meters down or less. And this is in Thai, but it says it's a service department next to something called the Beat, which I'm not sure what that is. It looks to be an office building. And next door to that, you can see the Jim Thompson factory outlet. I'll put a link in the description. I did a video on buying silk over in Thailand and big surprise, it was all about Jim Thompson and his stores and this factory outlet. So check that out if you're interested. The one large IDEO building down by the BTS seems to be the main place to stay here at 93, but I'm gonna walk down at least, eh, I don't know, till maybe that turn and see what's on the left over here, but it does not appear to be a whole bunch. And all the way until back here, this fence is all painted the same, so I assume that's all part of the IDO property. When I looked back there, I saw tennis courts, basketball, kids park, everything. So it's a big compound. And right here is the first bamboo company. That's cool. And right across the street's a little side, so it just connects down to, what are we on, 93? So that would be... 95 and a 95 down that way and I just see a barber shop on the right I'm gonna head back up here just getting my uh, 20,000 steps in or whatever I do a day. It's certainly more than 10,000 There's nothing really back here other than this PP building which just looks like a Thai style apartment building bunch of four-story walk-ups on this side everything from uh, places to buy a car battery and different little restaurants and again, here comes the uh, little afternoon buses getting you. I'm tempted to jump on one of those. Not today. I have somewhere to be in a couple hours, but just get on one of those, pay my 10 baht, and see where it takes me. I'm sure it's going to take me way the heck back in there. And that's a beautiful Honda. Found a little supermarket back here, CJ Supermarket. Not huge, but uh, better than nothing. And it does look like there's a couple of buildings on the right side here so I'm gonna keep walking even though for some reason it's, it's getting closer to 5 p.m. it seems to have got 10 degrees hotter okay yeah I almost gave up and turned around but it looks like there's a couple of choices back here 
a little bit of a walk. Yeah, well, you see the IDO building. That's where the BTS is. So I, I guess I'm getting lazy. That's not that big a walk at all. Here's a laundromat. And this building is called the Regent Home... Night, Regent Home 9? What does it say? Regent Home 19. I don't know why. What's with the 19? Looks a little older. But if that comes with uh, extra size, I'll take a little chipping paint. I'm passing all kinds of little Thai places. Smells great. Here's a 7-Eleven on the left. And this building, oh, I think it's also part of that region 19. Now, hey, they look to be very small units. You can tell the balcony on the right and the balcony on the left. So that that is the whole unit right there. So not even 10 foot wide. No, they're not attached. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, it's uh, they just have two towers, one here and one there. So Regent 19 for whatever reason. Came up to a klong, the Bong Nong Chen Klong. A lot of rain in Thailand and Bangkok especially. Need these klongs to uh, drain the sewers away. Down my way, it was just pouring the other day. And I'm gonna turn around here, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting pretty far from the train. Or at least I'm gonna find a motorbike to take me back. My street had, ooh, at least 12 inches of uh, water down in kind of the lower part by my condo. It was a mess. I don't know what this is, but I see some uh, race car building going on back there, or tire sales at least. And this is definitely getting pretty tight neighborhood back here. I am coming up on something called the 93 building. Yeah, this street just goes on forever. I was hoping I could go to the left at some point and then pop out on whatever's down the way if it's 91 well actually i just saw somebody pop out there but i think that might just be a small side soy we'll check it out i'm just out here getting lost yeah the 93 building looks pretty darn affordable if you're looking at those buildings on soy 81 in the on nude area just kind of basic accommodations that are super cheap this might be in that market I doubt if they have a swimming swimming pool or anything like that. But the units, if that's the whole unit in between the hallway, they look pretty large. Okay, so I have a decision to make. There's definitely a taxi stand right there. I'm kind of far down 93. Or it looks like this soy might pop out way down the way. I don't know where. Maybe on soy 91. So I'm going to head off in that direction and check it out. And 93 keeps going. I don't know for how long, but uh, yeah, enough of 93. It's just been a lot of the same for a while. And I definitely don't see any large condos or anything back here. But we might find uh, some cool little buildings and let's just uh, see where this thing ends up. Just some local buildings back here. Thai style. Cinder block. Nothing special. You can get some cheap massage back here. It's all in Thai, but I recognize Thai massage one hour for 250 baht. And here's another taxi stand I'm walking by to show you what's going on back here. So consider giving me a thumbs up if you're interested in these looks around town. Yeah, it's actually pretty hot. Hi. That taxi uh, is looking pretty good. It's getting hot. I think I am going to duck into this 7-Eleven. At least get something to drink. Now here's the only problem. I think I'm walking parallel to the BTS, which is over here, but if you see that big building, I think that is on Sukhumvit. So I'm actually easing off to the right here, and, and you know I might walk another mile before it actually turns to the left. So I'm gonna at least go down, see what this building is, try to make a left turn, because I don't wanna keep going inland. This is turning into a, a five mile hike, and I shot another video before this, so I've been walking around it's almost five o'clock since about who two o'clock and yeah so it wah you're walking around for three hours but in the Bangkok heat and humidity this turns into uh, no joke 
You can just barely see 93 down there, that little bit of traffic and that yellow truck right there, that traffic, that's 93. I came up this side, so I, whatever it was, I think it was something 14. And there appears to be a left turn here, so I'm taking it. And hopefully I can take it all, all the way to Sukhumvit. I don't know. Right off the bat, I see a divider, or what do you, what do you call it, roadblock. Here's another taxi stand, but everybody's busy right now. And that building I saw in the distance is the Regent Home 14. Which is a, a little confusing to me. Usually it's Regent Home 93 on Sukhumvit 93. But, well, I guess we are on Soy 14. Again, the heat's kind of getting to me. That Soy right there is, uh, I don't know if it's Soy 14 off of 93. That's where I... That's where I got it. And this looks like taxi bikes are using it as a shortcut and they just have it blocked for cars. So I'm definitely gonna walk through there. And it looks like there might even be some other buildings. Now, yeah, once we get back to Sukhumvit, you're still kind of a short walk to the BTS. It's just I've walked in a big huge circle and these two buildings appear to be businesses and manu manufacturing I'm curious why uh oh I thought this would go straight through but it looks like uh, we have to make a right turn right here all right well anyhow I think that larger building is is on Sukhumvit so at least I'm heading in the correct direction from where I was before yeah it looks like carpet Although now that I'm thinking about it, I've never seen carpet over here. Well, maybe in the Hilton or the Hyatt Place. In the Hyatt Place, you can't open the windows. It's one of those hotels or you can open it a crack. You, there's certainly not a balcony. But nine out of ten places over here, including all the condos. Well, I have fake pergo type floor. But 99% of places will have tile. I guess it's just so hot and humid that you'd probably uh, rock carpet fairly quick. And again, I'm back in a, a Thai neighborhood, which is cool to me. There's little houses and the whole family's just uh, sitting out rather than being inside a hot, stuffy house. They're just sitting out on the little patio. And here's a Thai local building. Okay, here's another one. The uh, Taski residence. Well, this is a... I guess anybody can live in any of these places. This, this actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, I definitely see Sukhumvit at the end there, so I'm heading in the right direction, and it looks like we have a couple of things to see. I have no idea where we're at. We were over on Soy 93, which is, there's the IDO there. So this is uh, 91 or 91 and a half. We'll find out when we get to the end. And that's a pretty nice looking building. I'll get the name when I get out front. Google the Blue Wanna Place or look at a site called HIP, H-I-P Flat. HIP Flat, Property Scout, and I forget the third. They're big real estate websites. You just have to be a little careful. You might see 9,000 baht at the Blue Wanna. And yeah, that was three years ago. It, they're a little, eh, not bait and switch, but I kind of bait and switch, leaving old ads up there to just get you to call, and then they tell you what they really have. All right, so that answers that. We're on Soy 89, at least this is the 89 residence. Have a little laundry mat down below, so that probably means they don't have uh, washers in the units, which is kind of convenient to have, even just the washer. And you don't have a dryer over here, you just hang your clothes out on the balcony. I do have a washer and dryer in my, by my gym, so it's nice to uh, kind of throw the t-shirts in there every, whatever it is, six washers or so, and fluff them up a little bit. That hanging, hanging out to dry is fine, but as you can see, like these clothes hanging out to dry, you go put that shirt on and it just feels like it was starched. I mean, not quite that bad, but yeah, it's not as nice as uh, coming out of a nice fresh dryer. 
And this appears to be a big, beautiful complex. It looks like it goes down all the way, and I'm not going to get the name until I get way down there. Just showing you the side view. And there's another... Yeah, these are businesses, but it looks to be another either office complex or condo on the right. And that right there, way off in the distance, that's the building Knightsbridge on Sukhumvit Soy 77. That's where I just lived for a year and on Newt. Love that building. Love that area. But I always found myself up in Prom Pong. So that's where I moved. And again, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on on the right here. It's, it's definitely nice, but it's all closed off. It looks like there might be a parking entrance up here on the left. I'm just trying to find out the name. Oh, it's still, still being built. Now that I look up there, it just has plastic on the windows and there's just hundreds of workers down here. It looks like there's a sales office up here on the left, but there you go. Blue space? I'm looking way down the street there. If it's going to be called the blue space, right here is probably where the name will be. But if you're thinking about coming up to this area and you want a brand new place, we're on Soy 89. And I'll get up to the uh, showroom here in a second. Looks pretty nice. They've uh, made an effort to put these whatever they are alcoves or whatnot and little trees if nothing else it's brand new and there it is the blue sukhumvit 89 here's a showroom showroom is open from nine to six o'clock daily but check it out it's 2023 whenever you're watching this video even if it's a year or two from now that's still going to be a nice brand new place and uh pretty darn close to the bts I know I keep showing this IDO, but it's a good landmark. Right at the base of that audio, it, or IDO, is the Bangchok BTS. So as I'm going down 89, I'm going to see what this big tower is called, and then probably call it a day. Okay, and we're back up to Sukhumvit. Here's a 7-Eleven right on the corner of 89. We're going to take a right and go towards, I'm guessing, 87. See what that building is, and... Uh, and that's about it. Here's Peter and Son Furniture Company, and that's the building I'm, I'm curious. I've probably walked by it a few times, but everything's kind of blending together. Yes, we're on Soy 87 now. And here goes a beautiful, I think that's a BMW. Nice. When I've seen this building uh, advertised in hip flat and, and different places, usually some pretty affordable rents. The Siamese Sukhumvit 87. So check that out. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I think it's a Ramada, I think, on the bottom floors. Or a Ramada residence. Kind of a service department type deal. And it's uh, monthly condo rentals on the top floors. But I'm not entirely positive on that. I do know I've seen monthly rentals for the Siamese on 87 but it's also a ramada which i think is what is also going on up in on newt up in on newt and i forget where like soy 46 something like that 48 i stayed at a ramada years ago and i think it was siamese something or another and they had hotel rooms on the first six floors and then uh, condos on the next whatever 20. we're really not that far from bank chalk station but we're a little in the middle so I'm just gonna keep walking I know BTS at uh, oh I'm starting to overheat at on Newt is around soy 81 so I'm gonna keep walking in this direction I'll just show you the the big buildings but yeah it's time to get to a nice cool train and here's the Wells International School I'm not sure I think my friend teaches music at the Wells but there's several campuses I, I know she bounces around Walked up to Soy 85, a little bridal boutique on the corner. Making our way back towards on Newt. A lot of just small businesses on the ride. Here's massage, coffee places. There was even a little hostel. I think, I don't know what the garden via is. Oh, it says rooms for rent. Made our way up to Soy 83 in the Mercedes-Benz dealership. Once again, not a lot of uh, stock on hand. I see 
a half dozen cars and some of those might even be uh, customers cars from the service department I'm not sure and that's Mercedes-Benz Sukhumvit we're kind of approaching the on new BTS that's right there where you see that overhead so these three or four buildings on the right that would be your train station on Newt and on the left side once again is the big Lotus grocery store it's like a big Walmart size store in the US groceries refrigerators televisions and I think one of these is a hotel I'm not positive down below is the Mamma Mia hair club no, this is actually a real popular building, the Ideo Moby. Whenever you're down at Cheap Charlie's here on uh, Soy 50, half the people in there, oh, I live down at Ideo Moby. And that, I believe, is Soy 81, straight ahead where that car is going to the right. And this Ideo Moby, it's two large towers. I'm not sure what that is, over, over 20 floors. And this is 81. They have a huge night market of street food anyhow right on the side of the lotus uh i can't figure out what days today is monday i think it used to be certain days but now it's every day of the week i'm not sure but a large little night market there and right at the base of our uh, new bts is the resident building which is in a uh, several towers this is a huge taxi stand to race people down 81 uh where are we at now okay that's a different building right there yeah, I'm getting a little tired. I'm not going to backtrack and get the name, but there's just plenty of condos all around on Newt and all around So 81. All right, I'm beat, and I made my way back to the BTS. I'm going to jump up, jump on the train and head on back towards home in Prakanong. So thank you so much for following along this run around the Bangchot area, and uh, where were we at? So we we're all over the place, right? 97, 93, and then made our way up here just on Sukhumvit to on Newt, so 81. It's a good area. You can find some deals up here compared to Asolk and Nana and even where I live in Prom Pong, that's for sure. So thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and uh, a thumbs up would really help my little channel if you've made it this far to the end of the video. I really appreciate that. So take it easy and uh, have a great evening.